Hi guys. So let's see. Let's start today, Monday. So we have two people already connected now, that's great. Hi guys, four, good. So today is Monday, how was the weekend? Formula One weekend, Shanghai, China. What a Grand Prix. Hi, Mangesh. Pepe, ciao. Fethi, welcome back. Good evening, good evening to you too. So I have my PC in front of me so that I can check uh, what's going on on live, just to make sure there is no, no problems. I hope that we will not have any... Non parliamo di domenica, va? No, no, for, for the Ferrari, I guess. Baby, is it for the Ferrari? Yep, uh, I'm sorry. But you know what? I'm not so sad because uh, I like Alonso more than uh, the, the team. I like, uh, I like the pilot and Alonso is my favorite. So to see Alonso for the third time on the McLaren getting points, important points, it's nice for me. Then of course Vettel uh, got a big problem in terms of strategy and I think also Raikkonen a little bit. And uh, the Red Bulls have been very very smart and very very opportunist in changing the wheels at the right time with uh, Verstappen and uh, Ricciardo who are really good pilots, we have to admit that. So they, they made the jackpot, basically. So we have nine people. Let's just wait a little bit more so that we get our magic number to start. And then, hi, Siddharth. Fetty, what did you write? What do you think about F1 cars designs? Do you think that, well, designs, F, Formula 1 cars, uh, it's engineering, it's pure, pure advanced engineering. Design, uh, as we can talk about design, we can say it's only graphics. It's graphic design. Everything else is done by engineers. And I believe it's the right thing to do because, uh, because those cars uh, are, must be very competitive. So sometimes you know that design and styling are not for competitiveness, okay, like aerodynamics and stuff like that, because we want to make sure that the thing, the fender, the side view or the section looks great and sexy, and of course we make compromises. And this is something that you can do on production cars for everyday use, all right, to a certain extent. But the truth is that in Formula One or competition, you cannot do that, of course not because uh, you want to win, so you have to do everything possible to win. Then I would say that Formula 1 cars, like Indy cars or uh, uh, Formula E electric cars, after we get, a, we get used to them and, and we like them, of course. I, I like them, I think that Formula 1 cars are very pretty. Hi Tang Mei! So, we are 12 people. So what are we going to do today? Uh, Pepi, sono molto contento, I'm very happy for Ricciardo, I make the translation, okay, live. I'm very happy for Ricciardo, he's a great, uh, very good pilot. I would like to see him at the uh, right Koenig's place. Yes, true, it's true. He has the right experience, he should be probably at the right Koenig place. Uh, I don't think that Vettel could do anything uh, other than the third place because of the Red Bull strategy. I agree with you, Pepe. It's exactly what happened. But I think that uh, the mistake was done by Ferrari team, okay? Somehow they made a mistake in their strategy. Hi, Fabio. 
Hello from uh, Israel. Love you. Thank you very much. We love you too, Noam. So in Israel, uh, do you have in Israel industrial design schools that make car design? I'm very curious. Noam, answer me back. Do you have uh, transportation design schools or a university that has a, a similar program? I'd be very curious to know. So we are 13. Let's wait for two, a couple more or a couple of minutes. Now 14. That's great. And uh, hello. Hi, Abhinav. A lot of people from India. Of course. Uh, all right, Noam. That's a very good news because I don't, I don't really know. And can you write down, please, the name of those universities or design college so that I can go and make a research and check it out? Okay, now we are 15. So, what we're going to do today, we're going to sketch together, of course, the objective of uh, my channel for this period, okay? For this period is to give you the best I can, the simplest way I can, okay? Share with you some of my know-how in sketching as a professional car designer so that you can, guys, you can you can take as much as you can. I studied industrial design at the Bezalel Academy of Art. Okay, that's nice. Bezalel. Okay, I will go and check on internet later. Once we have once we have done, we are done with this uh, with this live and design. Okay, good. That's great. Uh, I can uh, connect you. Ah, oh, no, don't worry. Uh, it's my intention is not to go and visit. I have already so much but to do, but uh, it's interesting for me to know because it's uh, something new to me. Thank you anyway. Pepe, by the way, I can write in English. It's more... Yeah, I think it's better, Pepe, because this is English language. It's our official language here. Of course, you can write in Italian or you can write comments in private in Italian to me. And I will answer you back in, uh, in Italian, yeah, of course, no problem. Okay, now we are 17, 18, let's start, okay? So, I take my white paper, I don't know if you have it, but... Uh, ah, did you check uh, my last uh, short video tutorial about uh, sketching wheels? Because, uh, don't worry, Marcin, we did not start yet. You know why? Because we are, we are waiting for you. <laughs> That's the truth. He said, if Marcin is not there, we cannot start. Hi, Ari. Okay, so just in case uh, you, you want to check my last tutorial, <laughs> my last tutorial about wheels, okay? Very quick. It's the same thing we did together last time. And I, th I told myself maybe it's time to make a, just a, a short uh, video clip about that. Okay, I get some of the paper. Yeah, this is some of the stuff, you see? Some of the things that I, I sketched yesterday to show wheels. Okay, so I will use this underneath my page so that I don't uh, ruin. But I need a white paper so that uh, when I sketch... I am sure that you do not see strange shapes. Okay. So, today we're going to try to do a really great tutorial. Thank you, Marcin. Uh, today we're going to do something very simple. The first part, I just want to sketch with you, with the pencil, but without really knowing what. We will do this together, and it will be like some free sketches or ideation on the same page. This is done because, uh, you know, every time we start sketching, we don't know always what we have to do. Sometimes we sketch because we are searching for something. And because some of you asked me, but how do you exercise uh, your creativity in your brain when you sketch to find new ideas? Well, you know, I show you how I do it, okay? Wait, this is, of course, always <laughs> never straight. 
and now it is straight. And uh, this beautiful picture, but this in Paris, in a nice bookstore where there was this expo of this photograph, local photograph, very good. Okay, so now I take the camera, of telephone camera, I put it on my vertical support, okay? So, little earthquake, little shaky time, okay? No problem, send you private message with all detail of the place. Okay, good, Noam. And uh, what's written on that sky swinging in your building? All right, great. So, let me do this. Okay, I'm going to make sure that the, all those uh, papers, all those uh, uh, cables are not in front of the camera, like that. Okay, this I can take it away. This goes here. And I'm going to try to get the right orientation so that it's better for you. Okay, wait. I'm be patient with me. Okay. Okay, is it is it better for you now? Please write to me. Write a comment telling me that everything is fine because I'm not sure. I'm trying to find the right spot. Okay. Like that. Let's see if it comes out correctly. No, this is not correct. It's more like this. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. So, I guess we can start like that. What do you think? Hi, Bogdan. Welcome back. Now it looks better, sir. All right. Okay. I just want to make sure that we are that uh, what's coming out it's correct okay good all right so so basic what i want to do is that i i would like you to just you know we we sketch always very very light okay we make a very nice sharp points and we go very, very light. Okay. I have to find, I want to make sure that the page is really nicely. Yeah, like that is better. And more like that. I think this way it's better. Yeah, it takes a while, but yes, we got it. So, we have our pencil, okay, and we just make some nice shapes. Just, just uh, imagine that we want to do something that uh, it's kind of uh, very, with a very nice flow, okay, and then we just uh, start putting wheels, okay.
And when I put all those lines, okay, it is almost like uh, getting already a perspective. Can you see it? Hi, Yash. Okay, so if I do that, you can see, I believe. You see, this is a just a basic shape. We don't know, the wheels looks a little bit too, too small. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. You see, now it's a little bit better, better proportion. Then this part here maybe should be more like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sketching upside down. You see, now it's a little better right there. This is the wheels. This one is the wheels on the other side. Okay. So we make this wheel also a little bit bigger. Okay. And then we put a little bit of shadow. Like that. Fabio, yes, uh, I will talk about the pen after. Maybe you know what? We start with the sketch like this with the pencil, which is the most important for you at the beginning because this is important for the quality, Fabio. It's important for your sensibility. Then we will do this with the pen, okay? All right, so I turn it again. And then let's play a little bit with the with the front section. Now I'm trying to block in the main shape, okay? And something is just coming out, which is kind of interesting. Can you see? Prego. I'm just uh, moving a little bit to make sure that uh, you can see better. So I, I would say that the proportions are not bad. It's very interesting here, you know. This is our kind of focal point. This will be less important for the moment. What is nice, it's this kind of front hand with a very short nose. You see, very short. And then we have a, the body, okay. And then we have a kind of long back. So you see, this is the really the real the real proportion of the car short nose nice of course uh, cabin and a longer back okay i'll make uh, my so now if i turn it again and i start dedicating a little bit uh, more time to this okay uh, maybe I do that so that you can see some kind of electric suit. Yeah, why not? It could be an electric suit. Yeah. So let's uh, make the wheel well. You know, those are, those for me are those are quick sketches, very quick. You know, you, in reality, you should do this in uh, what ten minutes. No, I'm going slow because I want to make sure that you guys get all the steps so that you don't make uh, 
mistakes. Okay. Then something we can do to make it look uh, even better. I take a, a, a ruler, okay? Just a simple ruler. And because I know that this is straight lines and, uh, and here also, then I use the rule, the ruler, to make that straight line so that we have some lines that are kind of precise. Then we do this one like that because of the perspective. Okay. The other one is parallel. Oops. And this one also, it's following a little bit the perspective. Can you see? Okay, I'm trying to find the right spot. Okay, so you see those straight lines, everything is very soft, very freehand style, a little bit funky. But these straight lines, which is very geometrical, it helps us to sit the car on the ground that really helps to feel this as a real car. Okay, so now that uh, this has been done, I just put the last uh, line, which is the one of the car. I make it a little bit uh, like that, okay. And this one also, I just bring it a little bit up, okay. So another thing that, uh, that I will do now I'll just do some quick shading, very quick, so that I start getting a feeling of what I'm doing. A feeling of volume, stuff like that. You see, here we have a line. And because I want to have something that is uh, kind of aggressive, I make the belt line that is really coming down, okay? Very high, very high back, very low front. So the car has this attitude. It looks not bad. Yeah, it's not very believable because I know that here is a little bit for but who cares? This is just a sketch. And here we have to make a little correction. And here we're going to go a little bit darker. Okay. Okay, so now I want this to be very sharp in the back. All right, so now another thing we can do, it's like uh, let's imagine that here there is a sort of uh, air intake, okay?
So I go fast. I know that this section, it's gone inside because here we have a hole inside, okay? Then we need a little bit of reflections on the glass. Underneath here, it will be all dark, really dark. Very sketchy, okay, very sketchy. Same thing here. Look how I do, very fuzzy at the end, but very nice in this area. You see? Can you explain more about quality lines? No, I'm okay. But uh, if you go and check uh, the video that we made, Car Sketch Tutorial Part 1, there you will see exactly the exercise we made for the, for the line quality. Sir, could you upload a video of a flat Point perspective. What do you mean flat viewpoint perspective? Ah, you should explain yourself a little better, please. Okay, so this is a quick sketch, okay? So today is 16. Now that we did this sketch, okay, so now that we did this, we can start imagining that maybe there is a, also, we could also uh, do some uh, other details. And instead of, pre of taking, even if I put all those lines up here, okay, we can imagine eventually to do something kind of creative. For example, why not looking at this detail a little bit better, the front? So, I don't know, I imagine that uh, it is here, like this, that, li that light, okay? It's like that, then uh, the, in the inside lines are like this, you know? And I, I imagine how this section, okay, this section, it's going to be like straight front view here. So a perspective, the proportion, maybe it's like that, like that. So if I, I do this and start putting a little bit of shading, I'm trying to sketch, uh, imagine the, the car in front of me, okay? So. So, can you see it? Try to make the outline here, or detail. All right, so now this is the bottom of the, of the car, okay? Oops, Shh. sorry for that. And in this area, there must be something happening. 
So this means that if it's like that, we should have a reflection here or an area in shadow. And one thing we do not see here from the side view is that maybe we have a, an intake area in here. I'll show you. you. You see, maybe in this area we can, it's a little bit too empty. So we have to do something here. So can you explain about mood board? Yes, I will, Aditya, but not now. So let's see what what can we do. First of all, this line maybe should be more like this. You see, I'm making a correction there. Why I'm making that correction? Because it's better for me when I want to put the 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 opening. Now that I have my opening, I make it black. All right. And now that I have this section here, I have to imagine how it is the 3D in this area. Here it's easy. It's going to be something like that. So this is in shadow. All right, so now can you see it? Well, it, it, it looks uh, okay, you know, proportion stuff. It looks like it's not so bad. It's believable. So, I think that we 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 need an an detail, okay? Unless it still looks like it's missing something. So, if I think about the wheel, the wheel should be around here. So, this part will make it dark. Because in reality, it's like the wheel, the big wheel that is behind, okay? So, we make it here. More or less, it's going to be there. More or less. And at the bottom here, we need a big black line because it's the bottom of the, of the car in front view. So, does it look better now? Can you, can you see the like the, the the corner like sitting? All right, good. So I'm doing this because you can see that uh, we start from a sketch, we put lines and stuff, but the lines I put here, now we don't see them anymore because the, the design and the sketch is so sharp, so interesting, so, so cool that we see the sketch. We don't see all those light lines that, we used to make the construction to make the construction of our sketch or our design okay so what 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 can we still do one thing i would do here is a little graphics for the light okay so we can imagine something that is doing this.
and we put a little bit of shading so that we have a, a feeling of what, the, in, what it is inside. Okay, I will show you, and you tell me if you like it or not. Yeah, Pepe, it's exactly this. You see, now we see the car. Look at that. And one thing we can work on is this area here, because in reality, now that, now that I see the whole thing, I believe that uh, it's more like this because we have the wheel here. So the wheel is a little bit outside, okay. Okay, so let's see again if this correction works, works well with our composition. You see now, the fact that I put this uh, a little bit inclinated and the black here, the black in reality is the wheel that is behind, you know, our wheel there. I'm making a little correction here to make it a little bit oblique on the, uh, here in this point so that it's a little bit more structured. Putting a little bit of uh, 3D effect uh, here in this area. Come on guys, that's it, we have our front. Now, this could become a nice composition, you see? Wait, I'm making a mistake. It's more like that to show everything together. Yeah, like that. Okay. So now what is still missing here? Now we have our focal point, which is here. Okay. Which otherwise it would be too flat. Yeah. So uh, one thing we can do, one thing we can do. It's a little bit uh, some uh, details for the wheel so that brings the eye outside and makes the big uh, the wheel looks bigger. And then uh, we can make a little bit of shading here, just a little, so that uh, you see, it looks nice like that. And uh, one thing probably you noticed that the, here on the wheel this time I'm not making the reflections as we did uh, you, as we did the other times. It's not like a chrome reflecting surface. This is a matte surface. So to make a matte surface, we use the same uh, rules. Okay, here would be reflection, but then we take the reflection and we kill it just by putting some shading and coming a little bit up you see coming a little bit up and that becomes matte surface and not glossy surface and 
And another thing we should add, I believe, it's here, a sort of a background that makes sure that we are looking here. So a background that supports the composition of the two cars together. Okay? So let's see. Of course, I will play with the geometrical surf, uh, shape. And because this is really big and this is very sleek horizontal, I will do something that uh, it's uh, probably like this. Let's see. Let's see. I'll try, okay? So let's see what happens. I'll make this background trying to be very regular with my lines, okay? You know, it's very important. And I do like the background, it's underneath the car too. That it's the whole thing that's coming down. Now that I do this, of course I have to retune re, re up a little bit on my reflections, on my shading, to make sure that uh, there is a good contrast and I'm not creating a flat shading. So some stuff has to become a little bit darker. Then I take my ruler and just go with a few lines just to make sure that we have something that is uh, kind of precise, just a little bit, trying to be parallel to the, of course, to the edge of the paper, unless everything looks crooked. We don't want that. And this line of the top of the side view, it's better if we make it a nice fluid, but very dark. Because we want that separate from the background. You know, that's important too. Okay, now that I did that, last thing I want to do, just to give a little bit of uh, sensation of uh, the door cut, okay, because we always have door cuts, okay. We can imagine something that is doing that. That comes here. Okay, so let's see again this thing. Of course, in the back, I'll try to do less because I want that all the attention is here. So what do you think? Hi, Radislav. Thank you very much for your compliment. It would be excellent as development composition. Hi, Ross. Okay, so this is a little example, okay, to show you how we can start from a, just a basic shape, okay, and then we illustrate, we try to explore a little bit this design, and then once the, this design has a very nice kind of... Uh, outline, uh, proportion, then we can go over. And from this detail, we made all this in the back, which is to convey and start talking about design. And you know, I could continue because I take this sketch, I put it in front of me, and then I start imagining the back, I'll do probably a three quarter or a tip up, and then we can start going around this car. So this could be could, I, I don't say that this is, I say this could be one way to exercise brain for creative, for creativity and get creativity outside of your brain.
okay? And of course, it comes because uh, you know all the shading, you know how to proportion your car, you have a certain notion of line quality, you exercise a lot, and then that's what you get. Okay, so now that I did this, don't worry, I will take a picture of this and I will put it on Instagram, and this will be also our cover, okay? Our cover for the video. Promise. All right. So now let's see what happens when we use a pen. Okay. Let's try to the, to to make the same exercise, but using a pen. Okay. So. I always do as usually to make sure that we have quality, okay? I take a, a paper because I want to test, I want to test the pen before I start sketching with the pen. Because you know, if we get the pen that is bleeding ink, that's not very nice. So I'm, I have pens in front of me. I take some stuff here. Let's see. Uh, do we have a normal black pen? Yes, we do. Okay, so first of all, yes, this one could be. I'll take a, just a napkin, okay, because just in case the, the pen will bleed, I will take the napkin to clean up the pen, to try to keep everything as clean as, as possible. So I just go over here and I'll do it. Here we go, got some Scottex paper. Okay, I'll put it here in front of me. All right. So, and once again, we, you know, I always start with a line, a straight line, you see? Because to me, this is the ground. It's, uh, it gives me the, I know where I have to <laughs> to make um, my car, how to, where I had to draw the car. So, this time let's change proportions. Let's do something. Let's imagine that we are doing a sort of a city commuter, okay? And uh, let's imagine that in the center we have a sort of a door that is like... A, that is like a, our Tweezy, okay? Okay, so this is, let's say, our beginning. Now, this is not so nice, I know. It's much better here. So we're gonna fix that. Now I'm working, I'm starting to work my line quality, okay, with the pen. So I'm starting hitting strong on some lines. The top. And 
here I would say should be a little bit uh, bigger and very round. Okay, so now, can you see? We can see better the car. And now you can see with a pen, I'm trying to reproduce what I do with, a, with my pencil. Pencil is good between when I use pencil, all lines and shading spread all over the paper because my hand touches every time of paper while sketching. Yeah, there is another way you can do. You know, you take a paper, you put it like that. You see? So that everything is clean. Not, not clean paper, not this one. So you can cover the sketch and work locally with your hand. This is a way also I used to do when I was in school. Just put a piece of paper under your hand, see that? Yeah, Pepe. Pepe is right. Okay, so. Now, let's say that this is an electrical commuter. And here... Okay, so we make our wheel. Okay, so now that I did this, we should start doing some shading so that we know, uh, thanks to Pepe also. <laughs> now that uh, we got this, Let's start doing some shading with the pen, okay? That's, I'm starting already, okay? So look, with the pen I go and I try to be very, very rigorous the way I use my pen. The way I make it very, very regular, okay? Look, very regular, okay? Inside, between the two lines. Then I go back and I go, I do the same thing over again, trying to make a shading. All right, and then to make sure that it looks good, I can cross edge, which means if I did my lines like that, cross etching is doing this like that because they are crossing. Good. Yeah, it looks like a capsule di jujar. It's true. It's true. It is true. So let's cross the edge a little bit. Okay, not too much. I'll just go and when I feel like I will stop. Okay, that's it. Now I turn the page. Can you see how nice is this shading? I'll try to move the page so that there is no the light hitting and you can see better. Yeah. Okay, so now let's uh, let's continue. So now I'm starting the bottom part, okay?
And with the pen, when you do lines like that, it looks like it's a medium gray. Wait, I'll show you. See that? You don't know Giugiaro? See that? This is very, very bad. <laughs> that you don't know. Wait, I'm trying to... So you know what you should do, see that now? You take that name, Giorgetto Giugiaro, you Google that name, all right? Now, and you go on images. Don't look at, uh, at the, the articles. Go on images and check Giorgetto Giugiaro. Check it out. You'll be surprised if you don't know. You should know. Okay, so So I show you a little detail that I'm making here which is a reflection And you see how I do, basically are the same lines I do with the pencil, with the pen. But it's the, the way you cross edge the lines that gives you, that gives you the idea of the shading. And, uh, and, and that's how you do. How many sketches are done during the research phase usually? But we work for, two, three weeks. So two, three weeks, uh, it's quite a lot of sketching. I can assure you. So we do it inside here, okay. Now I'm trying to make this reflection, this big, huge glass, okay? So, it's not easy, but I'm trying to imagine how should I do it, because it's spherical. So, I have to do it in a way that it looks like it's turning. And of course, during this shading activity, I realize that there are some elements that become darker, that have to become darker, unless it's going to look flat. So I play, no? I play with the planes. I make sure that everything is uh, always, uh, the, what is back has to be in the back, what is in the front has to look like in the front. 
Hi Ross, how many per day is expect initially in the project? Thank you. But you know, Ross, the professional designers don't think how many sketches they have to make. That is in school. So when we work, we work, uh, we work a lot. Uh, we can do like uh, 10, 15 of those in different type of uh, perspective, side views and stuff, just a monochromatic. In school, I remember when I was a student, when I was a teacher, I used to ask for, you have a one week to make 25 good sketches. This means that at home you have to do at least 50 because you must uh, take away those that do, do not have a very good quality. How many tests uh, doing the research? Uh, I guess, uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. All right, so now let's, let's do here you see, I'm adding some lines to define better the cabin. You see, now it's, it's starting to look nice. And of course, when I start exploring a little bit the front and stuff, I have to put some uh, reflections because so that we understand how this surface is going to be. Now, I was thinking that here in the back we could imagine there is a sort of seating so that when people are, are I don't know, a picnic, they can sit down here to eat, you know, like a little bench. That's why I made it kind of squarish. Okay, a little bit of reflection in the back here. Okay. Now, a line here in the center. You can imagine this is all big door opening. I don't know how it's going to open, but this is the door opening. Okay, and then here in this uh, panel that we have in the front, we can imagine now a sort of a 3D because it's not a flat panel. You know, we can also imagine, for example, that we have a, I don't know, a display that is giving us some information. And we can put it in here. And usually when we make uh, displays, It's like that. So now let's give shading to make sure that we understand how this 3D it is, the shape of this uh, panel, okay? I'm using light lines here because this is lighter, this is darker, okay? We can even imagine a little shadow. So if this is a shadow, it must be darker. Can you see? It's starting to come out, huh? it's not so bad. Okay, I'll continue. 
I clean up my my pen. I clean up some lines to make sure that they look good. Then in transparency, we can imagine that we have a one seat here, okay, seating position. So I'm gonna make it a little bit darker so that we, it's like looking, watching in transparency. And we can imagine that we have another seat in the front here. Now I take this, this, and I make the display. You see? It looks like a, it looks like the display. Let's say, for example, if we were working on a Aston Martin, wow, vintage it is okay. If you're going to have a starting point for proposing inside the studio, saying it's a competition, yeah, I think it's okay. I, 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 this is not so bad. It, to look at the competition, nice images to to start. But of course, you have to do an Aston Martin if you have to do an Aston Martin. Uh, all right. So let's let's try to finish this one. So now I, I do the shading on the wheels, okay? So a little bit of the reflection, it's always a spherical surface here, okay? That's why I'm doing that. And then as we said, let's kill that reflection to make it look like it's a uh, it's matte surface. Okay, now let's make uh, the graphics. And to complete, I will use I will use a felt tip pen, okay? Some specific car company. Is it necessary to have car design projects relating to their brand? Ravi, not really. Not really. Of course, you can do a couple projects with the, the logo of the car company you like, but uh, believe me, it's not important. What is important is the quality of your creativity. Because if you don't have that, there is no way you can make it. A 
let's do this. Let's make a, a big line in, in the center because uh, those will be a door is too big at the door like that. So let's do this. Like that, it's better. Okay, so I use my my felt tip pen just to make some area really really dark. Okay. I'll do, of course, with the black certain details to make sure that I get a nice contrast. Okay, now that I did this, let's do the, the down part of the back, a little bit the front. A little bit of black reflection in here, here too. Well, you know what? I think that we basically finished this one too, which has been done with a pen, okay? And I will put this one also. So I'll turn it so that you can see it. So can, can you see it well? I just want to make sure that uh, that you can see the how basically it came out. I think here we can fix this like that. Okay, guys, now it's uh, 7.44, I will uh, turn the telephone again, put it in front of me, okay, oops, the other way, sorry. Okay, so the the nice uh, uh, the nice thing is that uh, we did uh, first this one, okay, which was our first sketch with which we decided how to put together a, a quick shape sketch and make a detail of that uh, of that design using it in the background to to show some detailing and also to make a nice composition i would say with a background uh, with a simple background geometrical background in the back and after we we took a, a ballpoint pen and we made another one 
which is this one. Okay. Wait. Done with pen, just to show how with the pen we can achieve uh, some uh, shading, some 3D effect, quick sketching, using also a felty pen for the darkest area. But the most important thing, once again, we started from a big, uh, we started from a big shape, okay? And then little by little, we put the wheels and everything else to make sure that uh, we can start seeing inside that shape uh, something that we can use to put in it our creativity. So, I hope that this exercise has been good for you guys. Thank you very much for uh, being with me, all right, for tonight. Next uh, uh, meeting online will be Wednesday. Don't forget, Wednesday, okay, will be regular. Wednesday at the same time. So, thank you very much. If you have anything else to ask about this, uh, this sketch live of today, just write the comments once the video is online. I will put those uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful, those sketches on Instagram with the Luciano Bove review hashtag. All right? All right, thank you. Ciao. See you Wednesday. And thank you very much for being there.